They're coming from 181 countries as of yesterday. Right? And we're a dumping ground. We're like a, we're like a garbage can for the world. This is going to be the biggest and most important election ever. The United States is now an occupied country, but it will soon be an occupied country no longer. We're not going to have this. November 5th, 2024 will be called Liberation Day in America. We're going to be liberated. call it a nation in decline. We're being nice when we say that. With your help, 12 days from now, we're going to win Arizona. We're going to defeat Kamala Harris. And we're going to make America great again. That's what we're going to do. Over the past four years, Kamala Harris has orchestrated the most egregious betrayal that any leader in American history has ever inflicted upon our people. She has eradicated our sovereign border, and she has unleashed an army of migrant gangs who are waging a campaign of violence and terror against our citizens. And my message today is very simple. Kamala's migrant invasion given to us through gross incompetence disqualifies her from even thinking about being president. We can't let that happen. No person who is responsible for so much bloodshed and death on our soil can ever be allowed to become the president of the United States. What she's done and he's done. Crooked Joe and Kamala, what a combination. Worst combination in the history of our country. And they've weaponized your government. They're a disgrace to our country. Four years ago, we had the strongest, safest, and most secure border in U.S. history with the lowest level of illegal immigration ever achieved. And when I win on November 5th, and it's not me, we win. We're going to win. When we win on November 5th, the migrant invasion ends and the restoration of our country begins. We're going to restore our country. This is our big. This is bigger than anything. This is going to be the biggest and most important election ever. It's going to be the biggest political event, I believe, in our country's history. We have to win. And we don't need it for the big political event. We need it to save our country. When Kamala came in, she deliberately dismantled our border and threw open the gates. She threw them open the gates to an invasion of criminal migrants from prisons and jails, from insane asylums and mental institutions, from all over the world, from Venezuela to the Congo in Africa. A lot of people coming out of the Congo, not just South America. They're coming from 181 countries as of yesterday, right? And we're a dumping ground. We're like a, we're like a garbage can for the world. That's what's happened. That's what's happened to her. We're like a garbage can. You know, it's the first time I've ever said that. And every time I come up and talk about what they've done to a country, I get angrier and angrier. First time I've ever said garbage can, but you know what? It's a very accurate description. Meanwhile, she cruelly forced our border agents to help facilitate her wicked betrayal of America. And by the way, the Border Patrol last week gave us their complete and total endorsement, and they said she is the worst. I want to thank them. And they, at the same time, they said she is so bad, she's the worst, you can't have her. And they don't want to do that. It's probably not easy for them to do that. But you know what? They said she's horrible. She was the border czar. And she never made one phone call. Not only didn't she come to the border, she never made a phone call. The United States is now an occupied country, but it will soon be an occupied country no longer. We're not going to have this. 
November 5th, 2024, will be called Liberation Day in America. We're going to be liberated. Every Arizona senior needs to know that Kamala's plan for mass amnesty will obliterate Medicare and Social Security. They want to put these people on Social Security and Medicare. And that's going to sink those two things. Whereas I'm saving them and I'm not raising the age like they will have to do. I'm not raising, you'll never see me raise the age. We have liquid gold. We have so much wealth in this country. We have so much. We don't have to play around with Social Security like they want to do. They're going to destroy your Social Security, among many other, among our country. They're going to destroy our country. So that's, you know, that's the whole ballgame. If you want your Medicare looted by 21 million illegal aliens until there's nothing left, and by the way, if they ever got in, the border will be immediately opened and you'll have 200 million people come in here. You have 200 million and there's no, and there will be no fracking, Pennsylvania. There will be no fracking. There will be no nothing. We'll have a country that will be a disgrace and an embarrassment. Nobody will even know it'll happen so fast. It can happen fast. Look at Venezuela. 15 years ago, Venezuela was a thriving, incredible country. And now it's, I mean, the people can't get a bottle of water. If you want to save Medicare and save Social Security, you must vote for a gentleman named Donald J. Trump. Have you heard of him? You know, it's an amazing stat, but virtually 100% of the net job creation in the last year, you know who it's gone to? Migrants. They're creating jobs. I didn't believe it. I actually have that. Andy Biggs, I had to have that number checked. And I was right. The, the jobs are going to people that are pouring in. This border invasion of millions of people pouring in is causing a job crisis for black and Hispanic population. That's what's happening. Hispanic and black are losing their jobs because of this. And it makes sense. You got millions of people pouring in. People that have had their job, that have done a job for years, they're losing their job. And it started with the black and the Hispanic populations. And we're just not going to let it all happen. It's so disgraceful. They don't want to show you all of the jobs that the black and Hispanic people are losing because they want to wait till after the election. But I've seen numbers. And when you see those numbers, the election's going to be over probably. Although, 818,000 jobs were fraudulently put in the on the rolls by these guys, by these crooked guys in Washington. They lied and cheated. They said we had 18, think of it, 818,000 jobs. And we had a whistleblower because they wanted to revise it after the election. And we had a whistleblower. And I wonder whoever the hell that whistleblower was. Thank you very much, whistleblower. We appreciate it. Think of that. Even after all of the pain and suffering that she's caused when Kamala was asked if she would do anything differently, she said that she wouldn't change not one thing. Putin, think of this. Putin sat back and President Xi of China and all of them. And they looked back and they said, oh, the U.S. must be a paper tiger. Putin would have never, ever gone in. No chance. It wouldn't have happened. No chance. I spoke to him about it. It was the apple of his eye. I will tell you that. Ukraine was the apple of his eye. But he would have never gone in. And he understands that. And uh, to think of what's happened. And now you look at Ukraine. So many people have died. Those beautiful old cities, those magnificent golden domes are laying down, smashed to smithereens on their sides. Can they ever rebuild that? You're not going to rebuild that. They lost their whole culture. For that to have happened, you could have stopped that so easily, Joe. You didn't know what the hell you were doing or saying, Joe. What a shame. What a different country we would have had. Think of it. You wouldn't have inflation. You wouldn't have had the... And we were getting out of Afghanistan. I spoke to Abdul. He was the head of the Taliban. They said, where did you speak to him? I said, because that's where the death is. He was the one. And uh, for 18 months, we didn't lose one soldier in Afghanistan. Think of it. 18 months, right? 
And then these stupid people took over. And we lost those beautiful soldiers. Most importantly, we lost. And other people, many people were killed that day. Many, many people. People that were from Afghanistan. Many, many people. It was horrific. But uh, so much death and so unnecessary. But think of it, that wouldn't have happened. We would have been out, but we would have, would have been out with dignity and pride. We would have kept Bagram, the big air base, one of the biggest air bases in the world. We built it many years ago for billions of dollars. And it was one hour away from where China makes its nuclear weapons. And we would have kept it for that reason. We were expecting to keep it, but they left there too. They turned off the lights and they left, although a lot of those lights were left on, I believe. And they didn't take the dogs, by the way. A lot of people say, did they take the dogs? They had these great German Shepherd dogs. No, they didn't take the dogs. It's such a horrible thing that uh, happened and in a short period of time. So you had that. And then you had Russia going into Ukraine. You have President Xi looking very strongly at Taiwan. You know that. He's been looking. Oh, he's been savoring. He's been licking his chops on that one, right? And you had October 7th with Israel. Would have never happened. That would have never. All those people killed. It would have never happened. None of it would have happened. We would have been a whole different world right now. We would have been the world that Viktor Orban talked about. He said he's the head of Hungary, strong person very strong leader. He said this would have never happened if Trump were the president of the United States. So, but we'll fix it. We'll fix it. Under my administration, we will once again give our police and law enforcement heroes the support, resources, protection, and respect that they so dearly deserve. Right? We're going to bring back law and order to America. Our country is going to hell. We'll rapidly build the greatest economy in history. I will pass historic tax cuts for workers and small businesses, including no tax on tips, no tax on overtime, and no tax on Social Security benefits for our seniors. No tax. And I will terminate Kamala's insane electric vehicle mandate, and we will end the Green News scam. Trillions and trillions of dollars being wasted on the Green News scam. We're going to have the cleanest water of anybody. We had four years. We had the record clean water, clean air. But it's a Green News scam. I will make interest on car loans fully tax deductible, but only for cars made in America. Thank you. And to a large degree, the reason I just came up with that idea, people are calling me these geniuses from Wall Street. What a great idea that was. How did you think of that? I always say the paper clip. 129 years ago, the paper clip. Somebody looked at it and said, why didn't I think of this? Some, somebody got very rich. Because affording a car is essential to restoring the American dream. We're going to have those cars made in Detroit. They're going to be made all over Michigan. We, we might even have a couple made here, but who knows? We, we're going to make plenty of other things here. We will quickly become energy independent, and we will frack, 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 and drill, baby, drill. We're going to frack, 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 drill, baby, drill. And in conclusion, with your vote this November, we are going to fire Kamala Harris. We're going to fire her. Get the hell. We're going to fire Kamala. We're going to get her out of here. With your support, we will end inflation, slash your prices, raise your wages, and bring thousands of factories back to America. And really, a lot of factories are coming right back here to Arizona, where they were taken from you. We will build American, we will buy American, and we will hire American. I will end the war in Ukraine. I will get it stopped very quickly. I will stop the chaos in the Middle East, and I will prevent World War III. And we're very close to World War III right now. 
And we will build a massive missile defense shield to protect us. We want protection, too, don't we? And it's going to be made in the USA, a lot of it right here. And we will land an American astronaut on Mars. Thank you, Elon. Thank you. We will rebuild our cities, including our capital in Washington, D.C., making them safe, clean, and beautiful again. We will teach our children to love our country, to honor our history, and to always respect our great American flag. We will get critical race theory and transgender insanity. We're going to get them the hell out of our schools immediately, right? And something I'm always embarrassed to even have to say, it's so crazy. We will keep men out of women's sports. Can you believe? Who would have thought you have to say that? How about the, the other good one is parental. We will give parents the rights to watch over their child. I mean, the school boards. Are, no, I mean, the, I have things that I say that 10 years ago would have been like, who would ever think of it? We will keep men out of women's sports. It's crazy, right? It's crazy. I will defend religious liberty. I will restore free speech. And I will defend the right to keep and bear arms, our Second Amendment. Right? After years of building up foreign nations, defending foreign borders, and protecting foreign lands, we are finally going to build up our country. We are going to defend our borders, and we are going to protect our citizens. We will stop all illegal immigration once and for all, and at once. We will stop it immediately. We will not be occupied. We will not be conquered. We will be a free and proud nation once again. Everyone will prosper. Every family will thrive. And every day will be filled with opportunity, hope, and filled with the American dream again. We're bringing back the American dream. That's what we're going to do. But for that to happen, we must defeat Kamala Harris and stop her radical left agenda with a landslide that is simply too big, too rigged.